is uh, writing uh, over at Substack.com, uh, robertreich.substack.com today, um, or maybe it was yesterday. Democrats uh, joined Republicans during the Trump administration three times to raise the debt ceiling. Even though Donald Trump pushed through, you know, a $2 trillion tax cut for billionaires, which, you know, over decades will be a, will end up being a $10 trillion tax cut for billionaires. Um, you know, Democrats said, if you guys have control and you guys want to do the spending, we will raise the debt ceiling. And so, but use the debt ceiling as a club. They've been doing this since Newt Gingrich pioneered this in 1995. So what should we do? Well, uh, you know, you know my opinion. I, I wrote about this and talked about this on this program last week, wrote about it over at Hartman Report. The, the 14th Amendment says the, 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 the validity of the public debt of the United States shall not be questioned. That's in the Constitution. So the debt ceiling law is unconstitutional. Biden needs to just go ahead and pay the bills. Just pay the damn bills. Ignore the Republicans. Stop all this moving money around and Janet Yellen being all hysterical. Just pay the damn bills. And let the Republicans sue you at the Supreme Court. You know, I, 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 I can't imagine that as partisan as these justices are, you know, I'm, I'm sure that probably Clarence Thomas would vote. I'm not sure, but I'm guessing Clarence Thomas would vote. Yeah, let the country go down the tubes. Let it, let it claim default. I mean, you know, he, he, he hates this country anyway. His wife tried to overthrow our government. So Thomas would probably be in on that. Kavanaugh probably would go along with it because he hates Democrats so much and he wants revenge for being called out as, a, as a, an attempted rapist. Um, Gorsuch, eh, who knows? I mean, his new campaign, and I'm, I'll be talking about this later in the week, his new campaign is to try to gut all federal regulatory agencies. <laughs> so maybe he wants the government, the country to stick around for a little, for a little while. I don't know. But, uh, I, you know, I can't imagine that Roberts would go along with destroying the United States full faith and credit, um, as crazy as he is. Maybe Alito would. But I think that, you know, if, if well, we'll see, I suppose. Amy Coney Barrett is a wild card. I have no idea where she would go on this. But if she and Roberts join the three Democrats to save America, well, we'll see. I mean, Roberts is increasingly concerned about the legitimacy of the Supreme Court. Also, CNN is gonna hold a town hall meeting with Donald Trump. Should they be doing this? What's this gonna do for, for American democracy?